Okay, uh, so I'm going to give uh, kind of an elaboration on what I talked about in my earlier lesson about uh, the Better Golf Protocol, kind of partial swings. How do you get to a good 60% swing? And 60%, we're talking about not effort, but distance. So 60% distance is going to be well less than 60% effort. So that's one thing you have to bear in mind right away. So like I talked about earlier, get your, get your sequence going. One, two, so back, shift forward, turn, back, shift forward, turn. So feel that sequence. And now here's an important uh, detail. So when you place your hands on the club, first of all, you want to be neutral for whatever is neutral for you. So for me, the neutral left is to I, I put it in the, across the fingers, lay, lay it over like that, sort of, sort of a medium pressure in my fingers, and then I, if I pull on it a little bit and I'm passive with this arm, my club is where I want it to be square. So that's that hand. And then this one, my hands aren't very big, so I really feel like I'm folding over as much as I can to get that hand kind of on top. So the reason for even is you can then take tension out of your hands and use your hands to feel the subtleties of distance. So then even pressure through the whole grip. So that grip is done doing what it needs to do. All it's doing is holding this club with the same amount of pressure here, 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 through transition, through all the way, unchanging grip pressure. The purpose of that is if I don't change my grip pressure, I'm not going to do anything abrupt, right? So I don't want anything abrupt in this swing. I just want to feel that sequence and be moving with it. And so I'm going to do, I'm set for, I think, 90. So really I should be hitting, um, I'm going to do another set of four and make an adjustment now. So I should be going for, let's see what we have. I should be going my 120 yard club, so I really want to go 80. I'm going to set this to 80. And you just have to, if you don't have a launch monitor, find a target. So I'm going to set it to 80. And then, now the adjustment I'm going to make, and it's almost impossible to take too small of a backswing in this exercise. So, just what I'm going to make is make my backswing. So, I know it, if you say it feels like this and you get to here, what you really want to feel is like you swing back about this far. And that's what you feel always is force, not location. So, if I feel my backswing is this long, that's I've applied force to there and then it will drift to there. So, I'm going to Shorten up the force just a little bit, so get it about like that, and then let's see if that makes the adjustment. Nothing wrong with that. Let's see what we got. Yeah, pretty good. There's 81. Okay. Let's see if I can do some more of those so I know now that much. Boom. 81 without having to slow down or add anything. I hit that one a little thin, I would expect 75-ish. No, less than that. So that's just contact, not really the string. So try two more. I made my adjustment and I know it's right. So maybe a little long on that one. I a little too much in the back side. Yep. A long there. This is, uh, I can get one just right again. So you'll find certain distances are just like, I want to hit it 90 every single time, right? So you, you make this adjustment here, right here. I think that's probably good. So that one I did, I definitely adjusted the force of my backswing. Yeah, and that's dead on 80. So there you go. Um, and that's again focusing on just 
Uh, looks like I have one more until I get a number. I'll do a couple more. So. There it is. Just extremely compliant. I'd call that compliant to the club, if that makes any sense. 